This is the long-awaited 5.7 gig transverter made by SG Laboratory in Bulgaria. It has the same form factor as their 23, 13 and 9 cm transverters. In Australia, the 6 cm band lies between 5650 and 5850 MHz and is shared by Wi-Fi. The SG Lab transverter covers the entire band except the top 50 MHz. It's worth noting that its optimal performance is at 5760 MHz. VK3BCU, VK3ACR. Yeah, you're, you're hovering between about a 554 and a 556 here. 5760.1 and 0.15 are the commonly used frequencies, and it works well here. The IF range is 420 to 450 MHz, which is fully programmable with a PC and a terminal program or jumpers allow the selection of eight pre-programmed IF frequencies. QRP radios such as the FT818 and the IC705 are ideal to drive the transverter as it requires an input of 200 milliwatts to a maximum of five watts. Having set the IF frequency to 434 megahertz by removing a jumper and setting the IC705 to three watts, the output of the transverter was measured at 2 watts, but interestingly, the power output slowly falls to about 1.85 watts with a 10 to 15 second carrier transmission. The transverter output stage is not wideband. The output power will be reduced the further away from 5760 MHz you go. The transverter also has an internal DC to DC converter which ups the supply voltage to 28 volts for the output stage. If the supply voltage is low, the output power can also be lower. After finishing the benchtop tests, it was time to take the boxed up SG Lab transverter into the field to compare it with the GPS locked Kuhn G4. Um, this is uh, the standard 10 watts out of the, the regular system, the Kuhn system, not the SG Lab one. The SG Lab receiver was on par with the Kuhn. It was just as sensitive, if not marginally better than its competition. There was a bit of QSB on the weaker stations, but all in all, the receiver is hot. The inbuilt local oscillator in the SG Laboratory Transverter is solid. There's no real need to GPS lock it, and it's stable from a cold switch on. If you're using digital modes such as FT8 or Q65, a GPS reference can be beneficial. The Kuhn system transmits 10 watts, and the SG Lab claims 2 to 2.5 watts, which is DC voltage dependent. So that's the, uh, is that running barefoot, um, uh, what, 2 watts from the um, SG, is it? Roger, roger, just barefoot, 2 watts, 3 watt drive out of the 705 into the, uh, into the, into the SG Labs, yes. Uh, roger, roger, yeah, well, see, that's, uh, yeah, that is a couple of watts, it's, uh, it's a good edge over 250 milliwatts. The strength of the transmission received at both Rob and Ray's location, 67 plus kilometres away, was very strong as expected. That's all good. Had a few contacts on the frequency today. So the other guys are still out there, I think. Three HY and a group 3KD. The long-awaited SG Laboratory 5.7 gig transverter represents good bang for your buck. It's the most cost-effective way to get on the 6 centimetre band when compared to most other offerings on the market. At the time of making this video, it costs 288 euros, which equates to around $500 landed here in Australia. Add a panel antenna or a dish for a hundred or so of dollars, plus the QRP radio you most likely already have, and you can join the merry band of microwavers who participate in microwave activity days and contests around the country. There it is, hang on. VK3 UHF, VK3 KQ, uh, good contact on 24 gigs, over. Roger, Roger, thank you very much for that, and yes, it is a good contact. 